Guys, it's time to do something I've never done before. And that's not go to McDonald's. I will never. KFC is better. Again, welcome back to another episode of Cabin Crew Simulator here on Roblox. But today we are setting ourselves up beautifully for a brand new challenge. Now, previously, I've done crazy stuff in this game. I've created the world's biggest Boeing. I've even created the world's smallest Airbus. Well, today it's Boeing's turn to be shrunk down to size. We're going to be creating the world's smallest Boeing in Cabin Crew Simulator. Now, we're going to get the smallest Boeing. We're going to squeeze it down even more. And it's going to become even smaller. Minimal passengers, minimal problems, minimal fun, but maximum money. Now, if you've been watching my episodes recently in my live streams and the developers, they've been trolling me, boys. And um, they still have the sign in the window. How dare they right now? How freaking dare they? I still think it's going to be the A340 as the brand new plane. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. But we need to get straight on into this right now. If you are enjoying Cabin Crew, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. But we first need to find out what is the smallest Boeing in the game. Now, the biggest Boeing is a 747. The biggest Airbus is an A380. We don't talk about... We don't talk about that livery, okay? Let's just get rid of it right now. The smallest Airbus is the A320. That is the smallest Airbus you can get in the game. But the smallest Boeing is the 717. Now, that's pretty small. But guess what, boys? We are about to make it even smaller. Now, the thing that I'm really happy about this is uh, the smallest A-Bus has two multiplier. Uh, the Boeing has one, which means I won't be serving the passengers all on my own. I couldn't be lazy. So let's go and customize it right now because we need to now make sure that we can get as minimal passengers as we pretty much get. So first things first, the liveries. I'm going to reset the livery. Keep it plain and simple. We're going to do the colors right now. Just turn it into a completely white plane. No colors, no liveries, no branding. It's going to be a new model of Boeing boys. Forget the 717. This is the 70. Does a 707 exist? This could be the 707 if it does not exist. Let me know in the comment section down below, boys. But what we're going to do is go to our seat layouts. Now, it can only have, by the looks of it, economy. There's no first class. There's no economy uh, business, but there is economy. So we're going to go to our seat layout and we're going to put maximum leg room so we get the minimal amount of seats now by this with the seat that's currently selected 26 seats now we're gonna go through every single one of these right now 24 seats okay we've got the comfort seat which is 26 so so far the upgraded seat is this is the one that gives us the minimal amount of seats the premium seat uh, gives us 26. That's not good. The TV seat gives us 26. The TV seat plus gives us 26. Right. Only three more to go. The sleek seat gives us 24. Okay, that's pretty good. We're now getting smaller. We're getting smaller. The styled seat gives us 24. And the premier seat gives us also 24. So the least amount of seats that you can squeeze in this plane to make it the world's smallest Boeing is 24. But that doesn't mean you're going to get 24 passengers. So we'll keep it like that. We've got maximum leg room right now. Um, sometimes you can adjust it slightly and kind of creep in the odd little seat, but it's just not going to work. Uh, 640 is apparently how much I'm going to make as well. Now, let's actually put this to the test. Let's actually take for a nice little spin, a nice little flight right now, and see how many folios we actually can get on the plane. So, 24 people. On the world's smallest Boeing, which is kind of crazy, I had 44 on the world's smallest Airbus, but this Boeing is even smaller. So, we're going to select it. We'll fly to Tokyo for a change. It's not often we get to go to Tokyo. We're going to pick everything and we have to do no craziness, no events. Keep it nice and simple. We're going to get our pilots, which shows you how little I fly the 717 with my pilots only being level three. Weak. Absolutely weak. We're going to get our very own AI 
who is wearing a Ryanair uniform. No disasters. Where's my uh, Where's my Ryanair employee right now? Here they are. Wearing the Ryanair uniform. You damn fool. Stop moving. Stop moving, you damn fool. And uh, we're now boarding from gate 10. So it said we can have 24 passengers. I'm going to guess I've got 17 passengers. That's my guess. That's my guess. How right or wrong am I? Well, let me go find out over here right now. Let me jump up. I said 17. Oh, we've got 19. Okay, we've got 19. Right, I was too off. I was too off, boys. So it's only economy, which will make things really, really quick and simple and easy to get people on. Uh, there's a bunch of folios now walking all the way over. Let's go see how small the plane looks on the inside for the world's smallest Boeing. So in we get. I'll close the door. I'll put the um, the napkins away, guys. Don't worry. I'm all over it. Don't worry about it, boys. I'm all over it right now. Uh, and look at it. Look at the gaps between the seats. It's actually quite big, isn't it? It's actually quite a big gap right now between the seats. The toilets, if I open them up right now. Oh, don't sit down. No time to be sitting down, Sadiac. Very small and cramped. But um, there's a lot of room. There's a lot of room when you do the minimal amount of seats right now. Hilarious! And little does this AI know right now they're going to be doing all the work because your boy is so damn lazy. Right, is that all the passengers? Oh, wow. Okay, that's already passengers already. Right, run down. Run, 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 run. Hello, you fools. Get on the plane right now, you damn folios. Uh, there we go. So passengers are now all on. I'll kind of help out with the overhead lockers. So let me close all these as quick as I can. There we go. That's pretty much all done. Now, if I shut the door, the AI should spring into action. Let me close the cockpit door, which he is right now. He has sprung into action and he's doing everybody's seatbelts. Now, we'll wait for all this because I want to make sure that I get like, you know what? I'll help out. There we go. I did a seatbelt, guys. I'm helping. I did a seatbelt. I'll skip the taxiway because we're at gate 10, which means we've got to drive around the whole airport right now, which is low-key kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Is my AI done? He is. So I will skip the taxiway. Uh, go sit down in my own seat. Ready for departure. And providing there's no one in the way, we should go straight to the runway. Right. Jetway detaching. The world's... Oh, I forgot about these these Boeing planes having the little window things above. So they can look up into the sky and make a wish when they're looking at the stars. Even though they're already... Wait, no. They're not above the stars. What am I talking about? Ignore what I'm saying. Ignore what I'm saying. Right. We're now taking off. Now, it's a real small plane. I think there might be one too many windows on this plane. I think every passenger right now has like five windows each. There's just that many. There does seem to be quite a bit, doesn't there? What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon building the world's smallest boom was a good idea? I don't think it was. I don't think it was. But what I'm interested in is seeing how quick we can serve the passengers. So it holds 24. We've got 19. We're only missing five passengers. That's all we're now missing. So here we go. We the captain will now speak. That dude's gone for a poo poo. Are you pooing? Sir, are you doing a number two or number one? Right, so Nick, stop opening the door. It's kind of weird. It's. No, it's not kind of weird. Are you rickrolling me right now? Are you rickrolling me? <laughs> oh, dear God. Right, so I could help out. I could be a good air hostess and slightly try and help out. You want a coffee? Oh, we got a celebrity. I just realized you got a VIP celebrity right now. Water, water, and coffee. Now, I'll give him some snacks because, you know, I'm good like that. I am good like that. Give him some crackers. But I ain't doing all the work, boys. Oh, I've just, I've just made an incorrect passenger interaction, which is going to ruin my rating. God damn it, Zaniak. God damn it right now, you fool. You damn fool. And there we go. That is the only work I am doing. They can do the rest. Because I'm lazy. Like that. Right, so. you. How have I served all those passengers by the time that my AI has only served these? He is so slow. 
He's way too slow. Very slow, in fact. Very slow. Uh, he's handing out water right now. I might help out. Look at him. He's so slow and lazy. I do two Coca-Colas. Right, there we go. Who wants peanuts? You want peanuts? You want chips? Look at this. So speedy. And you still haven't done these passengers? Why does it say that we're doing 570 miles an hour? Is that true? Is that true, boys? That's a little bit too fast, if you ask me. A little bit too fast, if you ask me. Right, he's done everything there. This is your captain. Now time for Bing Bong. Plane is going to be descending shortly. And your boy now gets to pick up all the trash. Now, he starts at the very beginning. So it's best if I start at the very top right now and then work my way down. Because I am so speedy. Look at this right now, boys. I collect more trash than that dude. I collect way more trash. Look at this right now. I've done more passengers than this fool right now. All the passengers there that I did, the six that he did. Weak. This is why I refuse to do all the work. Because I end up doing all the work right now. That's all I'm going to say, boys. You know what? He can do the rest. Don't be lazy. Oh, someone watching Frozen. He's not happy, guys. He's not happy right now. He's not happy because they need binoculars to watch TV. The leg room is that big. They need to use binoculars so they can watch TV on the plane. That's how big it actually is right now. It's kind of funny, isn't it? It is kind of funny. Right, we're pretty much all done. We're ready for landing in the world's smallest Boeing. But was it worth it is the question. Are we going to make big money? Are we going to get a good rating? I did mess up one passenger interaction. But surely that can't go against me, right? Surely that can't go against me right now. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Now, I've got a question for you. When you see and think of the 717, what airline comes to mind? What airline comes to your mind for the 717? Let me know in the comment section down below, boys. But here we go. It's time to rate if this is going to be a butter landing. Now, the pilots are only level three. So don't expect magic. But you never know. Will it be butter? Will it be butter? Do you know what? I think I could be wrong. But I think that might be a butter landing. Would you guys agree with that? Would you guys agree that that potentially is a butter landing? I think it might be. Holy moly! Holy moly, boys. Right, let's skip the taxiway. I want to see my monies. I want to see my ratings. I want to see what's going down. Skip the taxi. We're in Tokyo, boys. We're in Tokyo right now. We are now awaiting for the jetway to connect to your boy plane hurry up full right any minute now it will be connected i can open up the door great job pilots that was a pretty good landing considering that you're only level three right open up there we go <sighs> open up all the overhead lockers running through like a damn folio running through like a damn folio and yes my incorrect passenger notification interaction sorry Gave me a 4.8. I could have got the perfect flight. If it wasn't for that... Pe I, I give them chips. When I shouldn't have. Was it chips or was it... See? Or peanuts. I don't even know. And that's why I didn't get five stars right now. Kind of low-key annoying. But there we go. 1,500 is what I got for the world's smallest Boeing. Could have potentially got a little bit more. But that's not how this game works. I am so damn foolish. Guys, if you enjoyed this, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I see you all soon. So goodbye.